Hey guys, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Hi, <laughs> I'm still finishing my setup. <laughs> Hi, hello. It's Tuesday. Oh, okay. I can hear things now, even though we don't have any sound at the moment. Let me just finish. Uh, hello, Anticus. How are you today? How's your day so far? Complain all you want at me. <laughs> okay, let me go to the options real quick. And uh, yeah, take care of the sound thingy. There we go. <clears throat> Let me know if the, uh, if, if the game sound is too low. I'll up it a smidge, but it should be, nope, not yet, tomorrow, oh, okay, um, let's go for load, cause I gotta, yeah, go to the right safe here, um, and yeah, The day has been really shitty. In fact, it has rained um, this morning. Which was one of the reasons why I haven't bought the stuff, uh, Anticus. Because it did rain in the morning. I was like, you know what? If it's raining, I'm not going to bother. I'll go tomorrow. It's not like I'm on a tight deadline here. So... Uh... What else? I do have to create that poll. Uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, at what at what point we end the stream today, and then I uh, I'll decide what to do with the poll. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna finish the game today. We're gonna continue with um, what we were doing yesterday, aka side quests. Um, companion quests, bounties, stuff like that. Now I'm pretty sure it's not gonna end today. We still got a lot to do. Um, and knowing the game, it, it always takes you longer than you think <laughs> to do stuff. But um, we might finish it this week. So I, I'll probably I'll probably put up the poll tomorrow during um, during XCOM and I'll leave links um, on Discord and I'll tweet as well. I'm thinking. Thinking to myself while the game loads. But yeah, day is really crappy. It's super dark. It rained. And the weather is not what it used to be, I suppose. Oh, okay. Finally, thank you, game. I was running out of stuff to say. Again, I'm, I'm a terrible chit chatter. I talk if I have stuff to say. If I don't, if I don't have actual concise and relevant stuff to say, then ugh, I'm the worst. Because uh, uh, I don't see the point of talking just for the sake of talking. Which I know it's bad when you're a streamer. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay? I'm working on my stuff. So let's see here. We still have um, a lot's quest because I couldn't figure out what to do at Oreo Kowiki. However, what's this? Oh right, I think we were going to go back to Nekataka to finish this one, right? I, yeah, and we got to return to the uh, map uh, to the. Um, 
to the map thingy, so sure, let's go back to Nekataka and finish those two things. Meanwhile, I'm going to snack, because I haven't eaten since breakfast. I do have some snacks that will expire in a few days, so I was like, you know what, I'll snack on those. Ugh, it's all, it's all melting. Still yummy. Okay, so the map is here, and then our career is in Periki's Overlook. So let's start here and work our way up. Because I'm bored with the loading screens, here, have a bunch of pillows in chat. <laughs> So, from the games I'm thinking about, um, Pollution on the Pole, pretty much all of them are RPGs. Um, one of them has uh, some strategy to it, though. You know. Uh, they're, all, they're all going to be completely different RPGs. They are all RPGs, but completely different. Why can't I... Okay, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Never mind. It is a pleasure to see you once again. Tell me, how is the sailing? Smooth? Nothing to delay your expedition, I hope. How might I assist you? I got some material for your book. We are so close. There's only one corner of the map left. Okay. Sansa fusses briefly with his pockets, then his belt, before handing you a bulging coin purse. Only it's for good reason. The waters in those parts are... Well, this region is probably why I had so much trouble finding help before you came along. Time to set out for the Razai Passage, out to the northwest. There are several islands out there nobody's done more than Ogalak from afar. I know you can do better. I'll be waiting. Okay. Wait. Have I done it? <laughs> Let me talk to him again. Welcome back. <clears throat> yep, yep. There. Wow. Done. I've always wondered what was <laughs> over there. I made a list. Fire giants, giant fire ants, fire snakes wasn't on there. Wait. This means you've done it. You've really done it. Oh, I could kiss you. Please don't. Yep, don't. <laughs> Let's go with calm down, buddy. He's going to put both our names in the history books. I am sure of it. Tiberius, does he really not know who you are, Watcher? You know what? Just ignorance is bliss. Live and be. I'm nearly done putting everything together. Come back later and I'll give you the very first copy of the Explorer's Guide to the Dead Fire. Okay. Sansa clasps his hands together, all but dancing in place. Ooh. Nice. Why, thank you. Much obliged. There. What's that? <clears throat> oh, I know what that is. Okay, go in there. Um. <clears throat> well, now 
now we just gotta wait, I believe. Or not even that. Yep, nope. We just scratch that off our list. Perfect. Excuse me. Let's go to Grumpy Old Man that I robbed blindly. I did take everything from his vault, right? Was there something missing? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, snack. Not right now. Mm -mm. I'm eating. Out of there, mister. Come on, game. Mm. I mean... If eventually we get a um, we get a DLC, we might come back to um, we might come back to fillers, of course. Finally, oh, get here, please. You know what would have been interesting? But you gotta do that maybe a second playthrough. Because, I mean, you don't really count on it or, or know about it the first time you play. Would be to uh, <laughs> add up all the all the time in game that that is just loading. And see out of the total time you have in game how much of that time is actually you just waiting for the game to load. Still don't trust this guy. At all. If you require directions to Bacana's observatory, look to your sextant. I can mere gestures for you to speak freely. I had other questions, just let me see. Questions about you, Archimere. Haven't I asked this already? I'm a mem and yet I had to why and I drew the short there and Again, I think it was one of um Next question. I think this was from one of the updates. On, Let's try again. Bakarna, I found this old almanac in an Ori, look familiar? That does rather defeat the purpose of absolution. Archimir tugs on his lower lip and scrutinizes you. So be it. Follow me down to the scrying pool. Ah. Oh. I actually didn't notice. Did I need anyone specific for um Where's the, uh, 
Where's this quest? Right here. Okay, I don't need anyone specific. Because I didn't check and that was silly of me. I should have. <sighs> Follow you where? I'm assuming it's going to be downstairs. Or do you think it's... <sighs> Let's go up first. I didn't see where he went. Was it here? Answer no. Okay, so it's down, I'm assuming. I don't know what the, do I get a hint? <sighs> no, I don't. I'm starting to get a bit bored of the of the <laughs> I'm starting to get bored of the never ending loading screens and I, I just did that to entertain myself while the game was loading pretty much basically that's what happened <laughs> huh. Oh, we already have a new new guards, I see. You here? No. How about here? Ooh, a prototype. I still think there's something I should be able to do here with, with his soul. I just... I don't know. Do you think if, if I had Chody, um, I could do something? Possibly. Is he gonna be in this weird thing here? Of course he is. Okay, let me get away from the big guys and also let me check my party uh yeah sure it's good <sighs> Camus eyes are closed in deep concentration his attention entirely focused on the glowing pool in front of him Archimir gestures down at the crime pool you peer into the waters. Dark silhouettes sit arrayed in a circle, and the surface of the pool ripples in tune with muted voices carrying from below. Dip your face in the water. Knock on the surf. No, knock first. You know you you always should knock first. It's it's only polite. All of the seated figures turn to you at once. Their faces obscured by hoods. One of them makes an impatient beckoning gesture. Dip your face in the water. It's kind of like a pensive, really. No sooner does your skin break the surface tension than you feel a breeze of warm air. You are peering into a stone chamber ringed with, ringed with braziers and tapestries as you would an open window. Robed men and women clutch the armrests of their thrones. Water drips down your chin. The other arch magi steam for the moment and faced by your presence. And Albawa folds her arms and stares down another woman who keeps her fists balled at her sides. Ooze drips from the sleeves of the Almawa's robe and pulls at the floor. You mistake the matter, Kalakoth. My curiosity and per perusal are not endorsements of her research. Hello, Dark Avenger. How are you today? 
Mara nods with an air of boredom. But Karna won't suddenly be vindicated by the likes of us, having simply read her work. Read her work. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Something green and twisted wriggles under the table. Calicot points down and a flash of light incinerates it on the spot, filling the room with stench of over overcooked snails. A suppressed chuckle carries over the silence that follows. You're a slippery fiend, Mora. Some of us refuse to taint our reason with the half-wit conclusions of Circle Rejects and keep the slugs to yourself. Calicot grits her teeth. Are you finished? The Circle of Archmagi. It's an honor. Clear your throat. Say nothing. <coughs> Let's <coughs> clear our throat. Ah, the guest of honor. Apologies that I didn't bring a goblet to raise to your lips. Mora waves from her seat at the table. Apologies also that Calcott is holding up the meeting with one of her moves. We could get started if she would banish the thing enamored with my ankles. Calcott points an accusing finger at Mora. I swear she baits me at every turn, Archimere. You call this conclave. I hope you're ready to impose some be damned courtesy. Mora, your pets can wait outside. Archimere waits patiently as Mora makes a shooing gesture. A wet slurping sound echoes in the hall and something dark and large makes its way toward an exit. <clears throat> if we're ready to speak rationally, our patience is about to be rewarded. He strokes his beard and sighs, inviting you to speak. Um, where exactly are we? I'm not going to greet them. I don't like this circ the, the circle. Between locations, nowhere you could pin down with an exactly. Minoletta shrugs, wearing an apologetic smile. Hello, old calf. How are you today? We meet again. One hopes our parting will be as the last and leave the both of us wiser for the experience. Langrath raises her eyebrows at you. We'll see. I dare say that my lesson in metaphysics brought the circle this far. I'm glad that my perspective on souls helped. How are Trusophos and Gafornekos? It was better than the alternative you could have gotten killed. Let's ask about those two. Darling, terrors as ever. Langrath smiles. Nina Goth massages his brow with both hands. This posturing is without value or reason. Get on with it, all men. He beckons to Archimir. <coughs> I'm good, thank you for asking. I was about to do exactly that. The Archmage nods and clears his throat, elbowing you out of the way so that his face commands the scrying pool. But Karna would. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Cog Whistle! And welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Bacarna was no archmage, but we all agree that she was on the cusp of a breakthrough before her unfortunate disappearance. Let's have some happy cat pillows. There you go. Just for you, Cog Whistle. Archimir takes the book from you and licks his fingers as he begins to turn pages. <clears throat> Why did you never officially recognize her? Yeah, let's ask that one. Her studies had no merit. Her yield they yielded nothing of interest or relevance until today, Archimir raises an eyebrow. Be that as it may, someone did not wish for this breakthrough to occur. For that alone, we have good reason to seek knowledge of her amateurish, if enthusiastic, research. Archimir's eyebrows form a steep triangle as he arrives at a page of mathematical figures and coordinates. She discovered the river of souls, of soul essence flowing through the dead fire. Yeah. Or do I say nothing? Ugh. 
here's the thing. I'm afraid if I don't say nothing, I won't learn as much as I can about this. So I'm, I'm gonna say it. The Archmages ex exchange furtive glances. Langrath tilts her head to the side, in every way unperturbed. Langrath clears her throat. We arrived at, a conclusion, at that conclusion long ago. Try and keep up. And yet she traced the path of the river while we only speculated on its existence. Archimir pulls on his beard and squints down at the almanac. I hope it is, Elcap. Where does it go? I haven't detected anything. Where does it go? Archimir sets the book aside and pulls out a vellum, uh, vellum map of the Deadfire. He traces his fingers from the shallows of the Great Reef northward. Where it goes is not my immediate concern. I am occupied by who presently follows it. The path of Aetis is winding, but... Uh, unerringly intentional. His fingers begin to stray east. He pauses on open ocean, his brow furrowed. Could that be... Tyne leans forward, trailing off as he cranes his neck for a glance at the parchment. Suddenly, all of the attention shifts back to you. I think we've taken more than our share of the Watcher's time, unless there are any final questions. Oh, no you don't, and blinking Archimir lifts his brow and waits, your dismissal hovering on his thumb. Wait, I don't get to hear the rest? Why was Consolio so interested in this? Can I join the circle? Thanks, but no thanks. You're holding something back, what is it? Uh, I mean, the 4-1 four, four is obvious, I'm not really interested in number 3. Let's, let's go for number 2. Are you keeping secrets from us, old man? This is the first time hearing of it. Minoletta rests her chin on her fist and fixes Archimir with a severe glare. I wasn't of immediate per it wasn't of immediate pertinence. Besides, Consolio has been dispatched yet again, esteemed mistress of missiles. Archimir favors her Minoletta with a stiff bow. Your flattery has gone stale. To address the Watcher, I imagine that Consolio wished to sustain his wicked existence on a font of essence. But you kindly put a stop to that. Minoletta nods, favoring you with a smile that she denied Archimir. Mm. Wait, I don't get to hear the rest? I mean, I haven't found pillars similar to the ones in the first game, no. But I mean, to an extent you could call those big adrosomes some form of pillars, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I've actually, I've, I've wondered a few times if we're going to see any similar pillars uh, in this game that we saw in the first one uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't uh, simply because the theme um, is vastly different in the way that the game is going I mean we could possibly get some pillars at Ukaizo the thing is we don't know what Ukaizo is going to look like right so there could be some pillars there we'll see I, I i do in a certain way i do consider those big luminous adra uh, some form of pillars uh, wait i don't get to hear the rest are you a member of the circle i hope you don't think we would dive divulge your secrets to a mere mercenary Archimir's gaze hardens and a self-congratulatory smile cleaves his face. You are not entitled to everything I own, burglar. Huh. You're holding something back, what is it? Archimir takes in the other members of the circle. Their responses are myriad. Some shake their hands at a shrug and others still lean back in their chairs and wait to see how it plays out. Better 
that that I remain silent on the matter. If we wish to invite you into our confidence, you would surely know of it. I don't think they're gonna let me join. I'm gonna ask anyway, just on the off chance that they let me and I'll be able to hear the rest of the conversation. I don't think that's gonna happen, but here goes nothing. You, you would ask this after robbing my manor, showed you the decency, showed you the decency to spare your life. Archimir turns to you, his expression pale and affronted. Around the table of Archmagi, someone chokes on a sip of wine. I mean, look at this from this perspective, Archimir. I robbed you blindly, and I could have killed you on the spot if I wanted to, and I didn't. Absolutely not. Will there be anything further? Archimir waves his hand, the matter closed. Nothing further, Archmage, I guess. <clears throat> Here, bubbles for your service. Not that you deserve them. Consider your debt pay repaid with interest. Archimede turns back to the circle and pointedly ignores you. You have gained an item. Archimede is eliminating discoveries. What? Ooh, okay. Achievement unlocked. Constellation prize. <laughs> okay. That was a funny pun. Let me just check something here. That sounds, yeah, pretty good. Let me. Yeah, let's. Let's go with that one. Or... Mm, you know what? I think this one's still better. I'll keep this one here, though. I might want to use it. I almost always forget, but just in case. For you, indeed. Uh, no, no. Everybody, all together now. We can leave. I suppose. Yep. Nope. We can leave. That's that then, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to um. I don't get this because I've been to the villain trading company several times and I just it seems like it doesn't prog progress that quest at all let's leave yeah. just ooh, wait, wait, wait just out of oh that no that's for the bathhouse I wanted to check the vault just want to make sure that I actually cleared the vault Yep, I did. Okay, we're good. Cause yes, I would totally rob him if uh, <laughs> if I hadn't taken everything already. <sighs> that means we can leave Nekataka. I guess we'll try and go for the, um... <sighs> to... See if we can take care of a lot's quest. Because I was clearly missing something the last time we were there. <laughs> and I did some things that I, I may... I may regret, um, but we'll see. Because besides that, it's just quests to um, 
sabotage all of the main five factions, really. And I'm not going to favor any of them. I'm going to go solo on this blind playthrough and see and see what that does for me. And then, of course, we have the bounties, which we will do. Um, and some of the islands that aren't fully explored. As in, I, I don't think I finished some of, some of the dungeons we've come by. Let me, we haven't been there in a while, have we? This is the... I had the feeling that I missed something here. Because the last time we were here, um, I remember there was a part of the temple that I felt like I was missing out on something. I probably should have Takehu with me, though. But let's just... Let me just take a look. Because um, it's been a while. We were here once uh, and and uh, I, I haven't come back. I'm actually surprised that I didn't have any quests um regarding this i mean i guess we had the ones with the the um, the water shapers that were working with the um, the pirates but that was that was it pretty much yeah the guild ruins i had the feeling that i was missing something here as in something was eluding me Come on, game. There's this here. Yeah. Clearly, there's something there. There's got to be a way to open that. I just don't know how. What say, friend? It's behind that stone door by this. Late night dinner with Miss Philo and Antigas. <laughs> the young water shaper leans on his broom and smiles at you. What's behind that stone door by the staircase? Thank them for master water shapers, I say. No students or outsiders allowed. Hmm. I've never been there myself. My room assures me the room has no need of cleaning. He shrugs, smiling. I wonder if if I have Takehu, um, if I can argue that I mean he's a master, right? Okay, nothing else here. Do you think? Uh, I I want to find out what's in there. It's a possibility, yeah. What you guys are discussing, it, it is a it is a possibility. Okay. 
Okay, where where is the uh she was here, right? Yeah, Mairu. Once a stranger, I say. Now a familiar face. What do you need? Are you aware that water shapers have been assisting smugglers in the undercroft? That name is supposed to mean something to me. Really? You take note of a small bead of sweat as a small bead of sweat travels down the guildmaster's brow. She curls her fingers and it vanishes. Of our order, not to mention a breach of trust with the crown. I can take it from here. Better to keep such matters discreet. You know more than you're telling. It's nothing to me. If water shapers want to help the Raparu, back to my other quest. You know more than you're telling. Suspect me all you want. I have nothing to hide. Ah. <sighs> uh. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Takehu, cause there's something here I'm clearly missing, and maybe he will open up a conversation or you know a dialogue option, something for me. Cause clearly there's a way for me to get in to get inside that door. And I probably have to take it out of her, the, the information on how to open that door, I think. So, bathhouse, please. And let's, um, let's place fish boy in our party. Hmm. I don't know. I hope that will do it. Otherwise, not being able to get through that door is going to to annoy me. <laughs> Just because I, I want to know. I want to know what's behind that thing. Turn. If you require anything, it's yes, I do. Let's take out Maya. I'll just wait on the boat. Do you think? Do you think if I have Chody, I'll be able to place that? You know what? Never mind. No, just stop it, Miss Bill. Just stop it. <laughs> go, go check one thing at a time. Let's quickly level him up. Uh, let's go for that and That's the chanter. I don't want to, yeah. Prefer this. Complete the creature summoning spell cast or complete the weapon summoning spell cast. Uh, he has no need for. That one's better. Alrighty, let's try this out. Let's see if we can uh, if we can get something out of the <coughs> Water Shapers Guild or not. I'm hoping this is what I need to have him on my party and finally see what's behind that door.
Here we go. Let's try again. Once a stranger, I say. Now a familiar. Really, I can't ask again. Ikira, my pleasure. Hariki was the first. What else would you like to know? Our art is the yield of the Juana's. Our ancestors pledged to protect the luminous. Our art is the yield of our ancestors. Come on, seriously? There's nothing I can do about that? There's gotta be. Takehu, be useful for once, please. Say, friend, the guild sat simply a care to caring for the Akira. Not all of the guild didn't you never mind. Disrepair, I say. The guy who tuts in and sighs. That's it? That's all you gotta comment on? What's what's here? Hmm. What say, friend? Ah this is going to bother me. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> I mean, I know why, because I, I would like to f find every nook and cranny possible. Yeah, Dr. Vinger, I mean, different people have different senses a sense of humor and different ways that things are funny for them now a familiar face what do you need like for me that doesn't work at all but but yeah it's it works for a lot of people god dang it I know a couple of people who have fun that way as well. I didn't want to click the floor, I wanted to click I you. Something. Seeing as I'm getting nowhere, I'll spare remain loose. Like this? Perfect. Keep at it and you suppose I'll give any <sighs> No, nothing. Ugh. <sighs> never mind. Just I give up then. Apparently I I I'll never figure that out. I guess we'll go and see if we can advance with a lot um a lot's quest. I'll bring Takehu along just 
Just because, really, I don't feel like going through another few loading screens just to get my party the way I want it. And I can always change him in the boat if I, if I wish so. So let's go. You could have a change of hearts in the meantime. I mean, sure. <laughs> Not likely, but sure. And now, another break with black screen and no music. There we go. Let's go to Audio Koiki. It would be kind of amusing to get there now and find out that a lot of people were dead because of the sabotages that we did the last time we were there. It's a possibility, I guess. And there we go. Another loading screen. You know, considering the amount of time that you spent, that you s you spend looking at the loading screens, they could have at least made a few different images. You know, just to or put some lore in it so we can read. Cause I mean. Elemental, I, it's almost that Dark Avenger, it's my, it's my personal um, time magic, that's what it uses, time magic. Everything seems to be normal. I still don't get why I get to talk to you. The handsome fish leaps into my net once again, I say. Oh. Okay. Cause I was gonna say this character was here the last time and she's named and I tried to talk to her and I couldn't. I guess I needed to have the Kehu. Uh, a smile rises to Awata's face as she catches sight of the Kehu. Awata, how is my little Koiki? All the reasons you didn't fight when I gave you back to the sea. I take you to our acquainted. You're awfully chummy with Takehu, even though he isn't Wahaki. That is true. Let's go at number two. Uh, Akira. But look at him. I mean, looks aren't everything, honey. She thumbs over to Takehu. I did not think you'd swim back, fish. I've looked at him. Have you heard him? Cause, cause that's the real thing here. Forget about the looks. Have you heard what comes out of his mouth? I am here on 
business. Not pleasure? Tell me what they have done with the true Takehu. You are a delight as ever, I say. Unfortunately, he's Just still here. <laughs> it is what I do. You keep swimming, Takehu. It is what we do. She sighs and gives him a warm look before turning away. Okay, so that did nothing for me. Watch yourself, my handsome Okay, bitch. yeah, that certainly didn't do anything good for me either. Where was the one, the... Um, did she cross? Yeah, she did. Wait, 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 let me... Ugh. Akira, what now? Never mind. How about you? Will you... Beastmaster... What are you needing from me? Nothing, apparently. No closer, outsider. Seriously, how am I supposed to progress you with the quest? Without Ruasare's permission. Ruasare expects you. Uh, clearly she doesn't. No closer, outsider. Does it look to you like there's a passage here? Cause it kind of looks like that to me. I'll be honest. Hmm. But maybe I'm just. I still have the fruit there. Yep. I certainly do. Nothing else here. I really don't know what else to do here. And the journal doesn't tell me anything, really. By looking around. I mean, more than I've already looked around. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I've been to every nook and cranny here. Do I not have enough perception? Do just Do I gotta start checking every single chest to see if I find something incriminating? Cause that's Indeed. that's infuriating if, if it's the case.
pretty sure we did this already, but it's just in case I need to do it again. Just, oh, I don't know. Do I just not have enough perception? What, what am I missing here? Yes. Uh, never mind. No closer, outsider. I do not speak to outsiders without Rosare's permission. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a door here. Nice and quiet. <sighs> nope, don't notice anything. I give up. You don't have anything to say, do you? Nope, you don't. to imagine an ancient leaden key sect could have been working quietly all these years but we've seen stranger things haven't we nope i'm at a loss here these are scrolls scrolls Antidotes. Exceptional wands. Nope. I don't see anything that could trigger something. So, uh, I mean, I give up on this quest for now. I which I, I think it means I'm not going to be able to complete it because I have nothing else. Of course. I mean, I've done those things, but they haven't caused anything. It's been days. There's been no no outcome of anything. Let's get out cuz I don't know what else to do. Why is that a thing? Is it just because or or am I missing something here? Well, if I am, I clearly can't see what. So. Let's get up. Um, lift. I guess I'm not gonna be able to finish this quest. Indeed. Which is very frustrating. Size board. Hope you're doing all right, and I hope Claire is okay as well. And how's Ghost, by the way? 
Haven't asked about ghost in a while. And the game might have crashed on me. No, okay. going nuts oh i get it i get you um when sometimes anticus goes to his parents and i stay at home uh, i totally get you it's so weird to be at home without him okay never mind the quests then that's not what i meant to do um let's go We should probably check uh, most of the things we have here um, and make sure that we that we did all we could. For example, this. probably visit every stop I have here and and then after that I'll um oh I know what this was okay never mind then I don't think we left anything left to do here Okay, well, next place is Tikawara. I think we did everything we needed at Tikawara. And the rest of the, the Hoshina Ravine. Hmm. The ravine is still there, so let's check the ravine. Although I think... Oh, that was... No, I, I'm pretty sure we completed it. Never mind. Uh, I think I remember what that thing was. Temple of Tangalo Ruins. Medium rare. Um, I think we finished that up. Subterranean temple, the maze that got away. Let's see if we have enough stats to uh, to get the maze. Yeah, this is the maze that that um that refused to come with us. Let's see if we can grab that maze. Sorry, not interested. Just go away. Thank you. What the heck? Just 
still there. Okay. Okay, okay. What are you going to watch um, at the cinema, Casper? Can we get that maze? the mace? Mm, no. Nope. I wonder if I if I go with another character, him, will it make no, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't get the mace then. Okay, you, you might have uh, a movie on your mind, hence why I asked. Well, in that case, the splintered reef. Have we been there? I don't think we've been there. Or have we? If we have, I have no recollection at the moment. Okay, we totally haven't been here. What? How have I missed this? Splintered Reef, what? Okay, well... This is the thing. Both house the Pickled Eel, Sea Lashed Crypt, and Glowing Outcrop. Let's start with the Boat House? To enter the city and travel, okay. A veil of thick fog, huh? A series of flimsy docks connects scattered stretches of dry land. On all sides you are flanked by the hulks of splintered wrecked ships. A thick fog sits upon the water obscuring the path in all directions. The only sounds you hear are the lapping of water and your own footsteps upon the narrow rotting planks. The eerie quiet is broken by the barking of a dog, somewhere off to your left. Whistle for the dog? This could go really bad for me, or I could get a new pet, so... You whist your whistle is met with renewed barking. Yeah, not good then. And then a sharp whine, abrupt and, sh and shrill. After several moments of silence, you hear a running tread upon the docks. A dog bounds from the bounce from the fog it's dark for a method with make ooh, blood two figures stumble okay after the hound their maws stained red out of the fog they are revealed for what they are withered rotting human only in silhouette dargles they halt swaying at the side of you at the side of you but make no further move from the darkness of the fog, a third robed figure emerges, a twisted staff raised high in their hands. A flash of light emerges from the staff. As you look on, runes seared into the Dargle's foreheads flare to life, glimmering like beacons in the darkness. Snarling, the Dargle's rush for you, their blood slick claws slicing at the air. Fight! Fight!
Okay. Yep, I'm gonna have to fight the dog. Swashbuckler, Marksman, Swashbuckler, and Fumpier. Let's go for the Fumpier first. Spellcasters, you should always go for those first. Just use that. And can you please summon? Thank you, the Drake. Why can't I? Okay, Casper, have the rest of a good day. Enjoy your movie night out. Nothing else here. All right, let's proceed then. So I'm not at the boathouse yet. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay, is this inhabited or not? Doesn't look like it. Hey! No one's here. Perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> Come on, Aleph. You're pursuing the leaden key. Should be a bit more gutsy than that. We do have a poppers. Nikki, what do you offer to the party, Nikki? Okay, not bad. So this was just loot, I guess. The pickled eel, it is.
Claudia. Okay. Up on the balcony, a tall and lanky figure waves frantically. Okay, that music just now was really disconcerting. <laughs> That done, he ducks down again behind the railing. It is not an effective hiding place. Okay. I mean, if you overlook the gore... <laughs> pretty chill place, it looks like. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine at the moment, Palagina. Looks like we have someone new in town. Kitty. Bonnie. And that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Well, hello there. The woman greets you with a cheery smile, the effect of which is marred somewhat by her only having half a face. She scrubs unperturbed at some glasses. Guessing you just came in. As she speaks, you notice a strange mark upon her forehead, a kind of symbol or rune. Yes, I've just arrived. Always happy to see new faces. We're a long ways from everywhere, and not many folk are so keen to risk the voyage. You're just in time for the harvest. Help yourself to some ale while you're waiting. Zuka ought to be here soon with the day's catch. Uh, could I chat about anything else, though? Good to see you again. Nope. Thinking of staying on? Okie dokie, Dark Avenger. Okay. Just arrived. I'll wager you the thirst. Drink, ma'am. The man at the bar goes about his business in merry defiance of the fact that he appears to be semi-decomposed. Behind him, a dwarf hangs upside down over a barrel. Blood streams down into the bucket from a wound in his wrist. From time to time, the dwarf twitches feebly. Ain't got much on the menu, truth be told, but an ale ought to hold you over until Zulka and her people turn up with supplies. Then you can enjoy the catch of the day. Here, newcomer, first drinks on the house. He pours from a nearby pitcher, filling a goblet with an unmistakable red liquid, thick and dark. The coppery odor hits your nostrils with force. The barkeeper slides the goblet across the bar towards you. Apparently I have enough constitution to drink it, but um... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> do I want to do this? <laughs> uh. Thank you so much for the follow, Thirdin. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, bottoms up. Ugh, you tip back the goblet, taking a long drink, and you promptly gag, spitting blood all over the barkeeper, the floor, and your feet. Oh, what the? You'll have no more drinks here if you Thank you. <laughs> he swipes irritably at the front of his shirt, then turns away with a muttered oath. I, I just, I had to. I had to see what would happen. Okay, I can loot that, apparently. Can I do anything about the dwarf situation? Uh, not yet, it seems. And before we go talk to the copperhead, let's see what's in here. Not much, I think. Pretty chippy cape. Okay.
Don't mind if I do, and let's quick save and have a chat. Good, good. I thought for sure you'd wander off. Get yourself into trouble. The man before you, or creature perhaps, as his skin is a gray is as gray and withered as that of the other patrons, wears a helmet two sizes too large for him. It tips from side to side as his head moves. I'm Copperhead. That's what they call me. Friendly nicknames in our age. Oh yeah. I know you're different from the others. I can see it. Uh. What are those?